Hey, welcome everybody. My name is the IT guy and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at gaming on Linux and I'm playing uh, games on uh, Pop OS, uh, which is my go to uh, distribution right now. I really like Pop OS, it's a pretty complete operating system. So if you don't really know which operating system, which distribution of Linux you want to choose, uh, I can definitely, definitely recommend uh, Pop OS. I really love it. But we're not here to discuss the, you know, we're not here to discuss the different distributions. We are here to discuss the Linux gaming. And, you know, Linux gaming works as well on uh, Ubuntu or uh, Red Hat or whatever distribution. Uh, as long as the, this you can install Steam on there, then you should be able to um, play games on there. So you just need Steam and driver support on the operating system driver support for your hardware and more specifically for your graphics card but most uh, big distributions do support that so uh, if we would so right now we are in Steam and Steam Play is this uh, technology that uh, Steam developed together with Proton to get Steam games to work with um, Windows Steam games to work on Linux and as you can see right now, there are a lot of games that are not supported. So if I would go to Skyrim or Oblivion, it's not supported. So I have to really filter down to SteamOS plus Linux. And then there is like one game over here, The Witcher, which is a completely Windows title. So if I would go over and uh, look at the, the folder over here, we'll see that it's an actual exe file uh, it's an exe uh, application so it's completely windows based but it is supported by steam play so uh, it is uh, so it's listed over here so what about all the other games uh, you know um, games like um, say here uh, Elder Scrolls Elder Scrolls 5 or Elder Scrolls uh, 4 Oblivion what about those games those games are also windows games yet I cannot click them, I cannot play them, I cannot install them. Um, well, you need to do one thing first. So first of all, you need to go over to your Steam folder, to Steam, go to settings, and then go into Steam Play, and you'll need to enable this one over here. And this is not a necessity per se, so you can actually leave this be, and you can go into the properties as well. Um, and then you can enable this one, you can force it for a specific title so you don't have to enable it for every single title this way you can also choose different types of proton versions but first of all let's try it with the normal steam play so with uh, the advanced option here with the normal option over here so the overall option we don't have to go ahead and uh, select every single game you want to play and enable steam play for it we can just do it over here and then just click ok restart steam and then we will be uh, given the list of all games and we will be able to play them. So as you can see, they are already installed over here uh, on my computer because I share a library with uh, my Windows PC. So this is a dual boot computer where I have a Windows installation and a Linux installation. And I have one common Steam folder, uh, which uh, you can see over here if I would go over to properties and browse the local files go back a little bit you'll see that this is actually the same um, the same folder for uh, all of my games so this is as well for my Windows games as well as my for my Linux games so these games are all in that same common folder shared on both operating systems so if you if you want to do it this way, I have a video on it. I'll link it on the top right corner of this video. Go ahead and click that. Uh, follow the guide over there and then you'll be able to do the same thing over here. So a good thing about that is that you will uh, be able to uh, play the same games and don't have to download them uh, again on Linux because it's not necessary. You can actually just use the same folder from your Windows PC and uh, add that to your Linux installation. Um, you know, it would be such a waste of disk space to go ahead and reinstall every single game and you just want to try the games first um, that you don't have to go ahead and completely um, 
uh, stuff all your disks full of uh, games that are already that all have already been installed on your computer. So let's go ahead and try one of these games. Let's say here, let's try uh, the Elder Scrolls Oblivion, for example. And this is a game I've already played. So the first time you've uh, you will launch a game, it will do some setup first. So let's go ahead and play this game, and it works perfectly. And you know, for a lot of older type of games, there are no performance hiccups. So that's pretty cool too. So I'm gonna continue from my last game. So this all seems to work perfectly. As you can see on the left core, on the left uh, over here, you can see the FPS drawn. So it might not be as um, you know, it might not be as performant as it should be on the Windows installations, but you know, do take into account that you know, keep in mind that this is still. A completely direct X title that is uh, being played on a Linux installation. So this was just a small overview of the Steam Play option in Steam on Linux. Uh, I do tend to do, I do think about doing a lot more videos uh, on Linux gaming because I find it a interesting subject in the future. Um, so stay tuned for that guys and without further ado thanks for watching and leave a like and a comment below and if you want to see more of my videos please subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye bye